Notes and Plans for the Witch Star Project Part 1 Aims and Objectives this work of conceptual art and design called the Witch Star Project aims to engage with, and be commissioned by, the BBC and or Channel 4 television. This is our five-year plan 2019-2024. This project unlike the Centre's recovery and validation course, is relatively low priority. It's okay if it's just for our own amusement, and we shouldn't rely too much on the help of others. Part 2. Current Plan Current Plan Process Next Step Describe this conceptual art and design project. So what's it all about Alfie? According to the Oxford English Dictionary, art is the expression or application of our creative skills and imagination. And although that might seem like a fairly straightforward proposition, a lot of modern art appears to be inviting the Kipling question, yes, but is it art? In 1917, the Society of Independent Artists in New York refused to exhibit Marcel Ducamp's ready-made fountain. Duchon. A porcelain urinal bearing the signature of Armat. It was, according to most textbooks, the happening that gave birth to our popular culture's notion of conceptual art. In conceptual art, the idea or concept is the most important aspect of the work. In essence, the idea becomes a machine that makes the art, according to Solowitz's paragraphs on conceptual art for the June 1967 issue of Art Forum. In 1999, Tracy Emin's My Bed was exhibited at the Tate Gallery in London. Predictably, the Tate's exhibition of that messy bed and its sundry detritus generated volumes of media scorn and outrage. And experts were yet again called upon to answer that question, yes, but is it art? If art can be only what we frame, then what has been its purpose? For example, what was the original purpose of the Mona Lisa, the world's most famous artwork? Surely its original purpose was for a likeness to be captured of Lisa Garadini, and for her painter, Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci. To earn his fee. Subsequently, Leonardo da Vinci sought an additional purpose for his painting in its perfection, and he continued to work on that portrait for the rest of his life. It's often said that an artist is seldom content with what he or she has produced. Picasso famously said that a finished painting is a dead painting. The purpose of the Mona Lisa in more recent times probably rests in both its veneration and in its power to attract crowds around its exclusive position in the Louvre. Although, and especially since Robert Hughes' seminal declaration, in his shock of the new for the BBC in the 1980s, that the price of a work of art has become part of its function, the citizens of France, if ever they felt the need to sell their precious large Ocandy with its potential to be the world's first multi-billion dollar painting, might briefly profit from its departure through some ranks of salivating auctioneers. In 2017 on the 100th anniversary of its rejection, Duckham's fountain of conceptual art was celebrated through numerous cultural events and presentations. It might therefore be reasonable to suggest that. Almost inevitably there will be, in 2024, at least one television program marking the 25th anniversary of Tracy Emin's bed sensation. And, obviously, a producer will have to be commissioned to produce such a program, or an advertisement for such a program. So, why couldn't that producer be us? One reason might be that the world of television production is relatively closed to the average consumer, and its doors might close even tighter when this outsider shall appear to be so obviously insane. So, this, our following fiction, based on a number of true stories, is the narrative substrate upon which the Witch Star Project shall build. In our experience, many vulnerable and isolated people with enduring mental health problems have amongst their limited pleasures in life an abiding interest for exploring and practicing the creative arts. Since 2009, following an exacerbation of their enduring mental health problems, artists Frankie and Benny, Francis Pittman Butcher and Bonita Harrison, have been sharing one room in temporary accommodation at the Lemon Tree Guest House in Russell Square, Brighton. Last year, with the assistance of their community support worker, Sharon Watney, Frankie and Benny participated in the Brighton Artists Open House Festival. 
For one Saturday afternoon in May, while they sat cross-legged on their bed, a small but steady stream of visitors came to see the wall in their room that Frankie and Benny had covered with their art and designs. Much of that afternoon was captured on film by local filmmaker, Timothy Sackville West. His film includes a piece where Frankie and Benny describe their 15 minutes of fame when, in 1999, they'd been working as housekeepers at the Budgetland Hotel in London, just around the corner from the Tate Gallery. And it was after one particularly tiresome 12-hour shift that they'd retired to a local pub where a bunch of saloon bar critics were loudly lambasting the exhibition of Tracy Emin's My Bed. Right, it's a filthy old bed with a dirty pair of knickers and one or two other things lying by it. Can you explain why it's good? It's stained, it's disgusting and it's beautiful. Later that night, Frankie and Benny broke into the Tate and remade Emin's bed with a set of fresh linen and a pink floral counterpane. Apparently, that entire exercise was captured on CCTV. So, I'm gonna start a revolution from my bed. For May 2019, to celebrate the 50th anniversary of John Lennon and Yoko Ono's Montreal bed in and subsequent recording of Give Peace a Chance, Frankie and Benny were planning a festival tour of outsider artists' hidden homes. It's a sad fact, well known to those of us who work in mental health, that there are squalid warrens, in multiple occupation by countless numbers of Brighton and Hove's more vulnerable and disadvantaged residents, festering behind some of this city's smartest regency fakids. Facade. Yet, in a surprising number of those hidden spaces, one will find rooms made a little less dismal, adorned with ready-mates from skips and bins and varieties of objets d'art of their dweller's own creation. Sharon Watney, however, has told Frankie and Benny that their proposed festival tour of outsider artists' hidden homes would not be a good idea, especially if was perceived to be exploiting their vulnerable friends. So, maybe, Sharon suggests, we could make a film, instead. Yes, replied another Lemon Tree resident, but do you think your film's going to be capable of sending our messages back through time to Nostradamus? Nostradamus? No. Then why not make a television program, instead?